Welcome back to Studio STL. Well, TV nominations for the 27th Annual Critics' Choice Awards are in. And joining us now is TV and film critic Dan Buffa. All of it. All of it. Dan, All thanks so much it. for being here with us today. This is great. It is great. And the nominations really dropped literally an hour ago yes. for the TV portion, TV portion of the Critics' Choice Awards. There were some pretty solid... Some solid knobs in there. Well, yeah. How are you feeling about it all? Well, yeah, you have a show like Succession, which is in its current season. That, sh that scores eight nominations. Seven of them are for acting. So you have all these actors on the same show competing against each other for the same thing. So, and But HBO did edge out Netflix. Yeah. Which is huge. It's huge. <laughs> That's pretty huge. So we have HBO. We have a couple of items for HBO. Okay, what's this right here on our screen? This is Succession. You are yep. just talking about Succession. Acting. It, it, we give it a solid thumbs up, two thumbs up. How are you feeling about it? It's a it? big thumbs up. Yeah. I mean, the writing is incredible. The acting, the way they meticulously. I mean, if you ever want to thought Kieran Culkin would be <laughs> nominated for a Best Supporting uh, Award, it's just a great show. And right now, every Sunday night, it dominates the conversation. It's a big media family that is trying to be the next head of the family when the dad decides to retire. Mm -hmm. And it shows that even if you are rich, you still try to tear each other down just like human beings do. It, no, 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 money doesn't hide anything. Power, know? politics, and Power. money. Power. Power. It's all power. about power. People are power hungry. You can definitely see that in Succession. I've actually not seen Succession, so I'm adding it to my watch list this holiday time. season. I'm going to be binging it. You have time. I have time to get it in before the big award before show the on big awards. January 9th. <laughs> and then another one that's been huge, Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. <laughs> If there was a show on the other end of the spectrum it's as out. Succession, it's the positivity <laughs> show we call Ted Lasso. Jason Sudeikis got nominated, got four nominations. It's such an enjoyable show, and you don't even have to like soccer. Yeah. It's about believing in yourself, teamwork, and just the most funniest lines that a guy can come up with. So you have different kinds of shows being uh, awarded this year. Which is also pretty cool, because you like yeah. to get that full spectrum of What's hot in TV, yeah. the drama, the comedies, the dramedies. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's all there. Just imagine if you're Gene Smart. You got you woke up with two nominations for two different shows today for Hacks That's a huge and one. also for Mayor of Easttown. Another big uh, score. It's, it scored five nominations, including Kate Winslet, who can do film, who can do TV. She does it. Even oh. when she's not making room for Leo DiCaprio on that piece of that boat in Titanic. <laughs> It's another conversation, but yeah. That I is mean, another conversation for another of, day. <laughs> lots of great nominations, lots of great shows. You just see the streaming mm -hmm. with Apple TV Plus and Netflix. But again, HBO. HBO is the old doing heavyweight. It. It's, old heavyweight. Yeah. I love that. And another one, a big one, Netflix, the most watched show in Netflix history. Oh, gosh. Squid Game. I have seen Squid Game, and I loved every second Me too. of it. And especially the way they, in the end, they make it count. I mean, if you're thinking it's just, you know, grotesque violence and all this, you know, unpredictable action, there is this heart and soul at the bottom of the show. It's between one of the, two of the participants, the young guy and, and the old man. They are trying to survive in the most craziest American Gladiators-esque with, with uh, death impl implications. But it's a show that you don't have any idea what's going to happen next. And it's very entertaining. It is entertaining. And I actually love that relationship, watching yeah. it develop. And even the plot twist at the end of season yeah, because, one. Yeah, because if you take that away, then you're just watching you know, people trying to survive and a lot of death and a lot of action. It's that funniness that they add to this really ridiculous and bizarre show. So there you go. You have Succession, you have Ted Lasso, and then you have Squid Game. Watch all three in a row and you'll be good for a There you go. Months. There you go. I have some shows <laughs> to watch this holiday season. And then another huge one on the list, we have to talk about WandaVision. WandaVision. So there we go. Marvel kicking into the awards race. That got not just a, a best series, it got Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen. Those two actors make that show. Yeah. If, if you could just not even mention superheroes or Marvel and just say it's got good acting, it's got a love story, and it's just, it's incredible. And also, in, in Mayor of Easttown, St. Louis native Evan Peters gets his first nomination. Whoop, whoop, that's so a win. And another yeah. St. Louis native, he was just right there on your screen, Sterling K. Brown with This Is Us. Yes. He's nominated. 
for best actor. He gets nominated every year because he's, he's just incredible. that good. He is so great. He's Sterling, the, if you're watching, he's yeah. the first name they write on that ballot. <laughs> yeah. Sterling K. Sterling Brown. Sterling K. Brown. Well, we it's love in there. <laughs> we love Sterling K. Brown. We hope you get another win, another St. Louis great right there yes. nominated. More St. Louis nominations. More St. Louis nominations. Well, we absolutely love it. Dan, thanks so much for Thank joining you. us today. We had a lot of great conversation <laughs> on the TV side That's of right. the Critics' Choice Awards. Everybody's got homework now. We all have homework. I have a lot of homework. <laughs> a lot of homework. <laughs> Don't we all? And then films. We're going to maybe sneak peek those. There's a lot of movies Next week, coming. A lot of movies coming out. Bradley Cooper, Leonardo DiCaprio's chin, Jennifer Lawrence, everything. <laughs> Not the chin. You are a hoot. Okay. <laughs> we'll have a lot more Studio STL right after this quick break. Dan, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs>